Hey everybody, Hidden Object Guru here with another Zombie Night Terror Challenge Guide. This one for the Astro Boys. Kill the Astrogoliaths in the level Magnetic Anomaly. This uh, takes forever. <laughs> so once I've guided you through the level and set up the killing, I'm just going to stop talking and go to fast forward until they actually die. Maybe there's a better way to do this. Maybe there's a faster way to do this. But I have a reliable way to do this and I'm going to show it to you if you just want to get it done. All right, let's do it. So first off, as you can see, your guys are sauntering at a languid pace towards the space base. And you might think, hey, those are blocked doors. They can't get in there. Not a problem. You're just going to do the oldest trick in the world. Wait until he's about to open the door and just charge through the open door. All right, so now that he's got that guy, your rest of, the rest of your guys can immediately focus on getting up to the roof. I can't stress enough how important it is to occupy this roof as quickly as possible. So, take him, turn him into an overlord. And here's the best part. Uh, wait for this guy to get a little close and then blow him up. And while you're blowing him up, you're going to be blowing up the guys upstairs. As you've noticed, I'm sure, guys in spacesuits don't turn into zombies when you kill them, but guys out of spacesuits do. So that explosion will get you a zombie up here to start working on that uh, base up there. Instantly, once you go to the roof, they start coming up to get you on the roof. This is why it's so important to occupy this thing instantly. All right, so. Do a little charge to get him before he shoots you. And then set up a second guard on this end. Now you're going to have a giant field of guys who are there just murdering everybody. It's fantastic. Uh, do the Goliath. Sorry, the Goliath. The uh, commander explode thing again to take this out. Um, okay, explode. Yeah, and uh, here's the thing: once you've got a pack, once you've got a pack of guys up here, it's just like the, uh, I think it was cheerleaders back in the. Uh, oh God, crap! This can still happen. Guys can still run through here. Generally, they'll they'll attack from the top, but you know, they can still come the other way. So just, you know, spit at them. It's fine. Uh, this level you have effectively unlimited zombies, so do not worry about using some, uh, uh, eating some here and there to get some DNA. It's not a problem. Now, as you can see, I blew up the thing, but it didn't kill her the way I thought it was going to. That's not a problem, like, at all. One and two. Oh, wait, did I already hit him once? No, I didn't. Oh, and I missed him the second time. That's embarrassing. Once you're here, uh, close enough here, you just spit there, and you're fine. Problem solved. All right. Yay! You have to destroy both of these generators in order to uh, take the uh, force field down from around the monolith, which is what you have to destroy. Now, as you can see, we have now knocked down the... Uh, oh, take that. We have now knocked down... Nice. The doors. That's going to be important for finishing off the Astroglides. But for right now, all you want to do with these open doors is you're going to set up some rapid-fire shooting, uh, spinning overlords. And that'll just keep everyone from being able to kill you down here. And it'll do some light damage to the... Uh, Astroglide, and you might say, light damage? I'm not in the business of doing light damage. And I would say, no, you're absolutely not. But the good side is, if you do light damage long enough, it becomes fatal amounts of damage. Two, three. Again, the idea here is to get continuous shots going. Yeah, that should do it. All right, so once you've got that set up, that should work just fine. Uh, have this guy resume pitching people up here. Oh. Oh yeah, this is working great. All right, um, I accidentally let a few zombies walk through so you can set up some more spinning uh, overlords. I mean, it doesn't really hurt anything to set up some more spinning overlords that I've noticed. Uh, oh, here's something fun to do. Uh, just waste your extra guy by turning him into a... Uh, the one problem with setting up a bunch of extra spinning overlords with your extra dudes is that sometimes you'll end up canceling out your own shots. Yay! I don't think that hurt him at all. They're very good at fleeing from out of the uh, range of those. So, whenever the Astro Goliath notices he's getting hit, he will run away or try another move. Oh, is he going to make it all the way here? Nope! Okay. Uh, physics pushes him back when he gets hit. 
Uh, he will run away and try something else, but he will always eventually come back to his home base, which means just if you wait long enough, he will get killed by these guys. It just takes forever, which is why you do the rest of the level while you're killing that guy. Yay! As you can see, we're sending a whole passel of guys over to this side. You want to set up another gate. Uh, the guys are jumping from that side, so you can just set up your permanent gate here. You don't have to worry about guys over on the left. All right, so set up a second gate. You'll notice I'm not even fast forward. It's probably fast forward at this point because I'm trying to gather up a good amount of guys. All right, that's plenty. All right, perfect. Now we're going to do the same to that rooftop over there, like we've been doing elsewhere. As you can see, guys spawn here, they run to the right, they jump here, they jump there, they go over. Sorry, I'm, I just forgot that my mouse doesn't appear in these videos, so. They go to the right, they jump to the top of the building, they jump to the scaffolding, then they jump over. So what you want to do is set up a gate here, then set up a gate down here at the bottom, and you're going to do the charge through the open door thing again to deal with this. Then you're going to have to do something really frustrating and finicky, but I will walk you through it. All right. Oh, and even if, it, uh, even if you screw up the thing that's super frustrating and super finicky, it doesn't actually hurt anything. I made that guy jump instead of turning that guy into a throwing guy. That's a little embarrassing. Uh, yep, there's still enough. Oh, I was hoping there was enough left to kill that guy, but apparently there's not. That could be bad. Let me just quickly uh, set this guy into a sprinter. All right, good, we're fine. All right. Whew, that was a little on the close side. All right. Hi there. Midair interceptions. That's the cornerstone of dealing with those space guys. Okay. Phew. Uh, this could be a problem, but it's going to not end up being a problem. Yay! Let's set up... I don't know how that guy ended up falling so far. What kind of mistake did I make there? All right. Get ready to sprint. Um, oh my god, did it work? No, it didn't work. All right. I was hoping that would already have worked. Uh, we still haven't killed the Astro Goliath, notice. He's still kicking around. Ugh, so frustrating. All right, so as he opens the door, send a guy to sprint, and we're fine. Like, we're done. Uh, okay, as usual, spit up here. All right, uh, now, a fun thing to do. Okay, I'm trying to see. Can I defend this, these guys? Or should I just assume all of these guys are going to get killed? They're probably not all going to get killed, right? All right, so... Here's where it gets a little interesting, a little frustrating, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm just going to rescue my guys back here, because I am emotionally connected to the random murderous zombies that I play as. Alright, so, now you see this guy walking over here. This is where it gets super finicky. You see there are two closed gate doors between you and the thing you need to destroy. So you need her to run and open it, but then she will keep running to out there. You can't let that happen. So, you make her... You make this guy jump to attack her. She should run away unless I've timed this completely all backwards. All right, she runs away. As she's in the open door, scream to stun her. Then turn this guy into a sprinty guy. No, I screwed it up. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, I should have, I should have spat. If you spit, she'll stay in the open door dying and the door won't close. And you can, she will hopefully wander in and break the thing. This looks like a problem, but it's not actually a problem. All right, uh, I let all these guys die after specifically saying I didn't want to do that. So now I'm a little embarrassed, but bear with me. All right, so here's what happens now. The game knows that you've closed that door permanently and destroyed the game. So it sends guys charging through here to help you out. It is basically the nicest thing the game ever does. So really you can't screw this up. I mean, you can try, but you will not be able to screw this up. So, see how we've got that chain of guys pelting uh, assault slime constantly at the first Astro Goliath? We're going to do that again from the other side. So, you. You. Uh, you jump, you jump, you jump, you jump. Hopefully they'll all get up there. We make these guys spit in this direction. One. Two. As you can see, it's working fine. It's a ridiculous way to beat the level, but it GD works. So once I've get this all, got this all set up, 
I'll just fast forward the video from here, and then you will uh, see the result. Oh no, poor guy. Well, he had that coming. I mean, he's a zombie. I can only be too sad about his death. All right, uh, well, like I said, once you get more than three or four of these guys, you can start having them sh accidentally shooting into each other, and that's frustrating. But I'm gonna try it anyway. All right. Oh my god, it actually worked. All right, I think four is plenty. Actually, I have five. I think five is plenty. Uh, and now... Oh, look! One of the astrolites died. So now I'm just going to do this. A good trick is to make yourself a tank up here. And just whenever this guy is getting to one place, you spit on him to get him to go to the other place. And plus, the tank spit does a lot of damage. But now, basically, what it comes down to is that Astroglyph is caught in a loop. And he's just going to wander back and forth, constantly getting hit until he dies. So I'm going to fast forward while that happens and not make you watch it. And then I'll meet you back here at the end. I'll be honest with you. That didn't take as long as I thought it would. Okay, so uh, now... As you can see, there's literally nothing they can do to you anymore. So just uh, send your tank down. Uh, I'm gonna spit with... Oh no, my tank! Oh good, he can climb. I thought he was trapped. Uh, just send in your tank. Uh, your tank can actually damage the monolith with the spit, but yeah, you're fine. Two, three, four, he just has to hit the monolith a bunch of times and level's over. All right, so uh, I guess it's time to start the sign-off. And if you get killed somehow, just bring in another Goliath. I didn't get killed, but, you know, it can happen. All right, uh, I've been the Hidden Object Guru thing. Um, if you were having trouble with this level, I hope this guide helped you get the challenge. Uh, if you need help with any other challenge anywhere else in the game, and it's true this time, because this is the last level I hadn't done a guide for. Uh, if you need help with any other level anywhere else in the game, you can find it on my playlist. Oh, and they update the game from time to time. So if uh, you found something that I don't have a current guide for, like my guide isn't helping or the conditions have changed, just let me know and uh, I'll update it. Cause you know, I love Zombie Night Terror and I like helping people beat Zombie Night Terror. All right, uh, so I guess that's that. I will see you elsewhere on the playlist, but until then, au revoir.